Okay, this is a short video clip showing powering on the Lapa Voe with the PID. So I've just added a little bit of water to it. And um, you can see the PID controller here. And then the top switch is the power switch. And then the bottom switch is the high low. In the low setting, it operates off of the control of the PID controller. In the high setting, it bypasses the circuitry for the PID controller and provides full boiler steam for steaming. So you turn it on. And you can see the PID controller is showing the boiler temperature. It has a adjustable pressure regulator, a single tip in the steam wand. Um, I've replaced the handle. Uh, it has a custom uh, naked porta filter. As shown in the auction, comes with three different baskets. Uh, the machine's been completely gone through. Uh, it has a bronze bushing that was installed in the back here. Uh, this is a, a custom brass fitting here that I made on my lathe. Uh, replaced the glass tube and uh, updated this to the O-ring setup from Orphan Espresso. Um, anyways, you can see the PID controller is heating up. This shows when the boiler is, is actually on. Once it reaches its, its uh, temp target temperature, then this will flash on and off at 25% uh, utilization. Uh, you can see that you can adjust it to whatever temperature you'd like it to operate at. I usually run it somewhere between, 120, uh, between 228 and 2. 35 usually something like that. So you just adjust it with the up and down arrows and then when you stop it will uh, record the set temperature. Uh, the manual is included for the controller. You can download it online as well. My original schematic is included uh, which shows the wiring on the underside of the machine. Um, I'll try to list everything in the auction that I've done to it. It's, uh, there's been quite a bit that I've done over the years. Um, most of the circuitry is tucked in under here, um, underneath right here. This is a custom bolt that I made to hold the machine together. Um, uh, all the gaskets have been replaced. Uh, these, these attaching uh, bolts, uh, uh, the threads have been chased and longer bolts have been installed, stainless steel uh, button head allen cap. Just about everything has been replaced on the machine. Um, I've, I've had the group head apart a number of times, cleaned it, inspected it, replaced the gaskets, ch changed uh, stuff over to different, uh, like stainless steel uh, clips internally. <clears throat> you can see it's starting to build up pressure now here. Two. It'll start to it'll start to uh, show on the gauge here in a minute, and the usually at 280. At 280, it will um, run at about uh, seven to eight psi. Uh, for steaming, the max will be about 25 to 30 psi, which you can set the upper pressure limit of the boiler using the adjustable uh, pressure regulator. And um, so you can kind of get an idea. You see now it's it's coming up to pressure. So usually when you turn on, it it uh, brings it up to the set temperature. And you can 
has uh, quite a bit of steam. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of what it's like. And um, you, it, it operates pretty much silently. You can leave it on uh, due to the PID controller. It, it regulates the temperature very nicely. So you can see it's, it's reached its uh, set temperature here. And then it'll, you can see now it's flashing on and off as it turns the heating element on and off to try to get it to kind of come down to where I have it set. And then if you turn this on, it will bypass the PID controller completely and give you the full uh, power from the, the boiler for steaming. Uh, it does a fantastic job on lattes and, um, of course, with the lever machine for espressos, it's very nice. You can flip the machine on and be up and running very quickly. And um, with the PID controller, it, it prevents the machine from overheating. Uh, the PID controller kind of keeps the entire machine at a, at a more reasonable level for pulling shots of espresso. I'll try to add some more information in the auction, but um, if, if anyone has any questions, uh, feel free to contact me. And uh, I will make sure that I do a very nice job packing the machine so it arrives without any damage. Um, I'll add some photos. There's a bunch of extra spare parts that I've saved over the years uh, while building the machine. Um, I, I'm not going to take it apart and show the internals, but uh, I spent a number of days hand soldering the entire wiring harness. Every connection is, is mechanically connected, soldered. Um, and heat shrunk. Uh, when the connections are ganged together, they have extra heat shrinking over the, the joints. And um, I, I, uh, I also have high temperature um, sheathing for the wiring. So if, if uh, you look at some of the other videos I have on YouTube, or you check the thread on Home Barista, I show in detail some of the electrical uh, work, but it's um, it, everything on it is, is very meticulously done and um, uh, ba basically perfect when it comes to the electrical stuff and insulating against heat or, or anything. And in fact, there's a large wrap of, uh, I think it's silica fiber or cloth or something, I forget exactly what I use, but it's super high temperature and it's wrapped around to isolate the heat from the boiler from the electronics. So if you if you look at it, you can kind of, from underneath in some of the other videos on YouTube, you can kind of see and um, I'll, uh, I'll see if I can dig up a photo perhaps. So Okay, so that's the La Pavone, I think it's 1974 uh, was when it was originally produced. I purchased it used, cleaned it all up, rebuilt it, uh, modified it along the way, and then ultimately installed the PAD controller. So it's in very good condition and um, offered for sale here. Thanks very much for viewing the auction.